Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at XXE injection. In this module, we'll explain what XXE injection is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is XXE injection? XXE injection can be used on web applications that pass XML input. An attacker able to submit XML can make use of references to external entities. The attack occurs when the XML is processed by the server. What causes XXE injection? XXE injections occur when improperly sanitized input is being processed by an XML parser with default or weakly configured settings. To understand XXE injection vulnerabilities, let's look at an example. Let's say a website uses XML to submit data for its reset password functionality. An attacker intercepts the XML request and changes it in order to access arbitrary files on the server. The web server passes the XML and returns the slash etc slash password file. XXE injection vulnerabilities can have significant impact. XXE could lead to an attacker performing internal port scanning and mapping your entire network. An attacker could retrieve documents from the web server, resulting in compromised data. And system unavailability could cause revenue and reputation loss. To prevent XXE injection, developers should apply application-wide filters or sanitization on all user-provided input. Consider GET and POST parameters, cookies and other HTTP headers. Apply whitelist input validation. And XML parsers should disable support for external entities or DDTs completely. Check framework-specific settings to do this. Congratulations! You have now completed this module, XXE Injection.